What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're gonna jump in with some Destiny 2 updates and discussion. Of course now, we are less than a week away from Beyond Light, so we'll discuss the end of this season, which is something that players are speculating a lot about right now. And we'll also talk about the downtime and launch window for the expansion, a leak showing some upcoming armor, and a possible exotic weapon. And then we'll talk about the mysterious distress signal calling us to Europa, Bungie give warnings for bounty removal, clarification about recently announced changes, and a couple of other things which we'll talk about inside of this video. So guys, if you do enjoy this one, a rating below really does help me out. But now, let's get into it. Bungie dropping the little teasers right there in this final few days before the expansion actually drops. And of course, being in the final week of the season, one thing that players are asking consistently about is the end of Season 11 and the Calamity Protocol emblem in the database. This one suggests that there will be some kind of end of season event for Season 11, but Bungie haven't hinted anything. And of course, we are in the final reset of the season without anything happening on reset day itself. So it's worth mentioning, as always, that we aren't guaranteed to get any end of season event, despite the fact that it is implied by the emblem. But a story transition, as we've discussed, is pretty much guaranteed to happen, or at least we'd think so. This is a pretty major story going into Beyond Light. But one of the things that players are speculating about, partially off the back of potentially reliable leaks, is the possibility of an event or an occurrence in the game being connected to the huge 14 hour downtime that's coming up next week leading into the launch. Something like this certainly does look possible, so I guess we should keep our eyes open as we draw close to the servers going off on Monday. And on that subject, as a final reminder, in terms of the launch window for Beyond Light, the downtime is gonna begin on November 9th, so that's 7 p.m. PST on Monday and 3 a.m. UTC. That's the point where the game is gonna go offline, but it will end on November 10th at 9 a.m., which is 5 p.m. UTC, including the UK, with the launch of D2 Beyond Light and Update 3.0. And inside of that 14 hour gap, there will be the opportunity to actually download Beyond Light and get everything preloaded. So hopefully that's gonna be enough time for most players to get everything ready. Next though, potentially interesting right here, but Dun6868 did post on Reddit a screenshot, more than likely showing the next season pass armor. Of course, the stuff that we're gonna get for Season of the Hunt, as well as that Titan in the middle, potentially holding the Season Pass exotic or another exotic weapon. And as far as we know, duality is likely to be the exotic for the Season Pass, but the quality of this image is so low because it actually appears on a punch card on the Xbox Reward app. Not something we've been able to get a higher res version of yet, but of course it's interesting because Bungie haven't directly teased what the season armor itself is gonna look like, or given us an exact look at the season pass exotic weapons. So probably a pretty vague tease to what we're gonna get there. And the model of the weapon also appears to be kind of similar to Dreaming City weapons. There's also speculation whether the Guardians could actually be in an extended part of the spider's lair on the Tangled Shore that we'll see for part of season 12. Certainly pretty interesting stuff, on top of Beyond Light, we're absolutely curious to see what the season will be about. Something here that Destiny the Game on Twitter were teasing us with a couple of days ago, but they posted alert, distress signal incoming. There's a video clip of this radio on Europa playing some pretty mysterious audio. Someone in the comment section did point out that the radio is immediately in front of the strangest kind of hut or kind of tent thing that they've got on Europa. Folks did wonder whether there could be a secret message inside of that audio, but DMG confirmed, no puzzle here, and in terms of what's going on and who's in trouble, these are questions that will leave you to answer on November 10th when you head to Europa. And of course, as Bungie have teased, and as we have seen via the cinematics in various trailers, we see Varix going off on his own kind of mission. As far as we know, he is responsible for the distress call itself on Europa, but it appears potentially the stranger answers that call as well. We can kind of guess this based on some of the cinematic content that's been shown. And of course, if the stranger picks it up on her radio at her tent hut thing, I guess that's our kind of little sneak peek to how Beyond Light is gonna kick off with the story on Europa itself. Give us your thoughts about that down in the comment section, guys, but here for some clarification about some of the changes and things being taken out of the game with the update next Tuesday. So somebody asked, with Mercury entering the content vault, would a gunsmith bounty for that location disappear come November 10th, or will it be safe because it's a separate type of bounty? And DMG confirms that gunsmith bounties tied to planets entering the vault will be removed on November 10th. So if you happen to be holding onto any bounties that are associated with certain planets, even if they are Banshee bounties, unfortunately they're gonna be taken out of the game and you may as well turn them in now. Of course, we're also gonna see items like the expired ramen coupon be taken out of the game. And DMG did say that it's a byproduct of cleaning up inventories and 
and content vaulting. They're aware that some of these items do mean a lot to players, but stripping some of this content out of the game does make it a bit easier for Bungie to continuously update systems and develop the game in the future. Somebody asked whether the light level change for powerful drops coming from vendor engrams is going to include planetary vendors. DMG did confirm that yes it will. But also we added that Gunsmith and Spider are going to have some exchanges for older currencies after November 10th. So we heard about the prisms that Spider will allow us to trade. And it looks like there could be a couple of additional things for the Gunsmith. DMG said on the subject of mod components though, that of course nothing's changing in November, but it's a point of feedback that the team is aware of, and they couldn't get any changes for this update. However, it's something they'll be looking at for a future season. So mod components is also something that could potentially change. And of course, as a little bit of a reminder, but they announced the other day that we don't need to have armor pieces in our vault when transmog goes live for them to be eligible. Essentially meaning, if we want to be able to transmog a piece of gear in a few months time, the game currently knows all of the stuff that we have and will get access to those cosmetics again with transmog in a few months. So we're safe to clear up a little bit of vault space. Once again, when it comes to items being retired, I'll link a list of what's going away down below. Folks have pointed out that items like the Fallen Transponder, as well as Callus Tokens, funnily enough, aren't listed as things that are being taken away from the game. Could just be a minor mistake there, but potentially it could hint to a use for Callus Tokens in the future, but also for the Fallen Transponder, of course an exotic item, or one associated with an exotic quest. So who knows, maybe that's something we could see used again in the near future. There has finally recently been a lot of speculation as to whether we could return to the old tower or a different tower for a social space in the near future. That one seems to have pretty much been debunked by the fact that we can see the current tower is still going to be in use for events like the Dawning coming up next month. But there's also a lot of conversation about the Traveller healing, some of it based on this image that was leaked via the PlayStation Store. And it is an up-to-date image, but yeah, it's pretty hard to say for the moment whether the Traveller could indeed be healing at some point in the near future. We're also seeing the Traveller from quite some distance in the game world in that cinematic image either way, so I'd be curious to get your thoughts down in the comment section as always, guys. Pretty interesting article, the link down below, but there is a quick interview with the French voice actress for The Stranger inside of Beyond Light. It is actually in French, but there's a couple of little bits of dialogue that they're recording during the video where The Stranger says something to the effect of, I'm relieved I did not make these discoveries on my own. But she also asks for forgiveness for hiding things that she's known about the darkness and says that her role now is to help us wield it as the darkness grows ever stronger. So potentially some interesting little bits in there if you want to check it out and I will link it down below. But for now guys, that is everything we have to speak about in this video. As always, give us any of your thoughts down in the comment section. We are anticipating some patch note previews this week in TWAB, so that'll possibly be one of the next things we drop here on the channel. And otherwise, we're going to have a bunch of Beyond Light content to discuss very soon. So once again, be sure to get subscribed so I can keep you up to date. But if you have enjoyed this video, a rating below very much helps us out. And let us know if you're excited for the launch of that expansion next Tuesday. But otherwise, whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.